My name is Jay Dennis, and today I want to share with you the idea of being edgy. I also want to invite you to be edgy, to not always cave into the need of the PC police, to not always be so sympathetic and empathetic and cowering under the thumb of the PC police. In a generation where everybody blogs and everybody shares everything at all times, people's complaints can be heard immediately. Now more than ever, we need to have more ballsy voices out there to be edgy, to be fearless. However, I want to say that if you're going to be edgy, you should be edgy with a sense of purpose and be edgy in a productive manner. Kind of like if you're going to be arrogant or narcissistic, that you should at least be productive about it because being edgy and not being restrained by what the PC police, PC meaning politically correct, about what people, how want to, people want to censor you. Going about that a certain way means you need to find a cause, an activity, an idea, and figure out how you can oppose it. Because the more we continue to censor ourselves, the less we lose our freedom of speech. Now, it should go without saying that the freedom of speech is freedom of speech, but there is still consequence. There's just usually not much government consequence, but there are still consequences for your actions and for saying certain things. So your freedom of speech isn't going away, but you can make it go in a way much slower Take it from a level of being censored to a level of feeling free and liberated. And the best part about being edgy and about challenging the status quo and about challenging norms that are already in place that are currently unproductive and life force sucking, the best thing is you get to incite critical thinking in another person and also yourself. And critical thinking is a skill that many of us have lost touch with. Our ideas get challenged, our posts get commented on, and we just get fired up and get angry. And sometimes that's okay. But other times we lose sight of the fact that our ideas can be challenged and that just because somebody is challenging your idea, sometimes with a good rebuttal or a good counter argument, that they're automatically an asshole or an idiot because they don't agree with you. But if they're going about it in a productive fashion, and there's something good to be gained, hopefully maybe opening up a mind or two along the way, then being edgy is a good thing. So again, be edgy, but do it with a purpose. Be productive about how you go. There are online internet trolls and people that just like to be assholes for no reason. You know, you're, we're always going to have those. But, like I said, in an age of self-absorbed, narcissistic people that are really self-conscious about validating themselves on the internet, now more than ever, we need to be edgy and we need to start saying things that need to be said. Because the PC police and the white knights of the internet are making that much harder. And it's making people like me and many other people on the internet and in real life look a lot worse. So I invite you to join me in saying what needs to be said from time to time. To be fearless. We are a generation of overly sensitive bloggers. And now more than ever, we need to speak out against the PC police. They've had it their way long enough. Plenty of people have lost their jobs. Plenty of businesses have been shut down because somebody had to complain. Somebody got offended. Don't let the skill of being offended silence you. Just because somebody can be offended doesn't mean it's actually offensive. Just because people are more easily offended these days doesn't mean that what you're trying to get across is a bad thing. So don't let that little speed bump or that bit of adversity stop you along the way. I will never stop speaking out against CrossFit. I think it's the stupidest activity ever created, and I don't care how many people try to rally up against me, I will always be speaking out against it until they can either improve their programming, 
until their arrogance can be coupled with actual results that mean something, or until they can quit claiming to be the fittest people on earth. So until then, I have my cause to speak out against. That's one of my causes that I speak out against. So find yours. Do your research. Back it up. But more importantly, don't back paddle as soon as somebody starts speaking out against you. You incited critical thinking and you have the opportunity to be edgy and possibly make a positive change in this life. So one more time, my name is Jay Dennis and I encourage you to be edgy.